Hello everyone, thanks for joining. My name is Brandon Walton with Cypress Learning and today we're going to go through setting up your domains to work with Pardot. So where we're going to get started is I'm jumping into my Pardot Lightning app and we're going to go to Pardot settings down to the domain management tab. Now you can see already I've got our main domain inside of here. For today's drill, we're going to add another email sending domain and we'll also show you how to add a Pardot tracking domain. So first we're gonna click on this big blue button for adding a new domain. I'm gonna put in the name of my domain, which is gonna be cypresslearning.academy. Make sure I spelled academy the right way. We're gonna create that domain. And what you're gonna see is the first thing that we have is error, error, error. Pardot is gonna let us know what it wants us to see. So what it wants us to include is a text record, what's called an SPF record, um, SPF standing for Sender Policy Framework. And we want this statement to include the phrase, include aspmx.pardot.com. What this is doing is it's letting the folks who are emailing see when a domain or when an email comes from the cypresslearning.academy domain and it comes from our Pardot sending email server, that the Pardot email sending server is properly authenticated to send that domain. If you don't have the SPF record and these other two down here called domain keys set up the right way, what you might see or what your recipients might see when they get an email is a message that says, uh, this sender has not been trusted, this sender has not been verified, be very careful before moving forward. So we wanna make sure that when we send our Pardot emails, we don't see that message. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add this SPF or sender policy framework. We're going to add a domain key policy and we're going to add a domain key. And the goal is going to be getting a verified, verified, verified on this new domain, cypresslearning.academy, just like we have down below at cypresslearning.com, verified, verified, verified. So what we've got open is we've got uh, our GoDaddy account set up right here. Um, we're logged into GoDaddy um, and I can see I've got two domains, cypresslearning.us and cypresslearning.academy. We're going to go to the DNS section of GoDaddy. Now, if you're not hosted with GoDaddy or hosted somewhere else, that's okay. Um, they'll, they should have some similar kind of DNS management portal. But what we're doing um, and what you want to make sure is clear is that you're managing this DNS setting is set wherever your domain is registered and most importantly, wherever your DNS is being managed. So it could be GoDaddy or if you have some special hosting account somewhere, it would be there. I'm going to click add down here. The first type of record I'm going to include is going to be um, a text record. And this is going to be an SPF record. So the host with GoDaddy, we're going to add the at sign. And then we're just going to copy in this value. Now, one thing to mention here about SPF records on this domain specifically, I don't have any other email services set up with it. But if you look into this record and you already have this V equals SPF one, it's important that you don't create a second one. What you're going to do is you'll just take this pardot section here and include it in the rest of the statement. I don't have an example for that right now, but I might have an example in a future video or if you're working with the Cypress consultant, we can definitely walk you through how that works. So first thing that we're going to add is this V equals SPF one statement. I'm going to go ahead and save. That TTL means time to live. We could go faster on that. I'm going to keep it at one hour for right now. Next thing we're going to do is include what's called the domain key policy. Now the domain key policy needs to work on this special subdomain underscore domain key dot Cypress learning. It's going to be a text record still. Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to add a, another text record. The host is going to be that domain key value. And then the entry is just going to be this here. Time to live, I'm gonna keep at one hour. That means it's gonna take about an hour for it to render. Um, again, I could move that up shorter if I wanted to, but for the purposes of this, we're gonna keep it the same. And then finally is our domain key itself. So we've got the policy moved over and our domain key for Pardot is gonna be this 200608 dot underscore domain key. That is the domain key that Pardot specifically is looking for. Again, that's going to be the host here. And you can see we've got the name, the subdomain added. And now we're going to add this big long key here. We're going to give it the same time to line, time to live rather, and hit save. Now, what we'll do inside of the Pardot side is we can run a check DNS entries. 
and we can see right away GoDaddy's pretty quick. We've got verified, verified, verified. Now we've got two domains that we can send emails from with Pardot. We've got cypresslearning.com and we can also send domains from cypresslearning.academy. Thanks for watching and I'll speak with you on the next video. Happy Pardotting.